Thank you, Denny, and welcome back to the Retire Young Radio Show. I am your host, Joshua David, and we are helping us in Minneapolis, Minnesota area, with the financial literacy to make better investing decisions. So, Al, as we close out the show here today, you were talking about, in that, in that third segment, really about having a proper trading and investment plan. Correct. Uh, most people don't have a plan. They just throw some money at a stock uh, or a mutual fund and hope it goes up. So let's talk more about this step-by-step plan, really for more confident investing. Yeah, and confidence is is a is the word there that we key on a lot because if you're if you're going to do this, if you're going to get your arms around your own assets, you want to be able to do it with confidence and comfort. Uh, one of the ways is to know the strategies for different market directions, but everything should be part of of a plan. Once you have that plan set with the core foundational strategy that you're going to use, the the assets that you're going to use, and and the strategies to use in different market conditions, because the market continuously changes. And then also the risk management part of it, and that's a huge component uh, that that it's really the number one thing that we teach. When you go into uh, you know looking at a retirement plan, one of the things that we hear people say, well, it's just too hard. Really what they're saying is they, they don't know how to do it or what's important to have included in that plan, which is why we actually have classes that, uh, that go over how to set up a proper plan. Uh, people, some people say it's too late. Believe me, it's never too late to do that. Um, whether you are in your 30s or 40s or you're in your 80s or 90s. I want to talk about that because there's so many people. I mean, I remember when uh, growing up with my parents, they would have their over the hill party, right? When they were 40. You're not even mm-hmm. in, you're still in the second quarter, right? Right. Now, people that are in their 50, 50s, they're still in the second. They may be at halftime. They're still yeah. half, you know, roughly half a life to live. Right. And that's supposed to be the best part of the life. Right, exactly. And unfortunately, what we see Wall Street recommending to people when they go into retirement, which is pretty much the same as they recommend before you go into retirement, is cut back on things. That's not what you want to do. If you want to you know, go through your retirement years as your golden years, it's not putting together a list of things you want to cut out. It's not working an extra job or, or not retiring. Uh, but the plan, if you're going to put together a plan that addresses the retirement, there's some things that, that are needed there. And then what's number one is what you're going to need in retirement. You know, what do you think you will need to, to you know, to have a golden retirement? And that's what that retirement uh, planner that we do, that we give yeah. away for people that come to these investing classes. Exactly. It'll actually help you calculate that. There's there's it's actually just math. Right. Exactly. You know, and where you are now and then what rate of return you need to get to where you want to be. But also it you have to have the flexibility and the knowledge to make changes if those if you need changes to achieve the rate of return you need. You know, maybe inflation will go up. Right right now we have hardly any inflation. That wasn't that long ago. Well, back in the 80s, I guess it was a while <laughs> ago. But you look at inflation in the double digits, close to 20%. Taxes, taxes could go up, you know, and, and what might happen with your health. So it, it's having the flexibility and the education to be able to make changes if you need to make changes. And what's really important when you go into, especially in retirement, and by the way, we're all going to be there, and sometimes we don't have any choice as to when we go into retirement. That is the key, is we're seeing more people want to choose when they retire, because think about exactly. this. There's so many people that are out there, and this is just my opinion, that retire or work forever, not because they want to, but because they have to. Sure. Now, it's all about making those better choices, right. and it's, it comes down to those three Cs, You know, having more confidence to do that and more comfort to make those choices. But you have to learn the different techniques and the different concepts. We all know there is risk in trading, but without any risk, there is no what? Yeah, there's, there's no the reward. reward. Right. So, but it's how to manage that risk, as Al was talking yeah. about. And you, in these investing classes, Al, that you teach, you talk more about how to manage that risk in these volatile markets because people are afraid. Well, be more confident with that. There's common mistakes that certain people make or uh, novice investors make, and there's different ways you can minimize them. But in these investing classes, you really dissect our step-by-step rules-based strategy for trading any asset class in any market. We talked about stock market. That's a great market, the Forex market, the futures market, and the options market. Al, I want to continue, I guess, more talk about confident investing because that's been kind of the theme of this show is people want more confidence. And you've been helping a lot of people just with 
any, I know your words of wisdom at the end of the show, but you've been helping a lot of people with that confidence um, to make better choices. Now, a lot of people just don't know how to start. Sure. Right. You know, where do you start? What do you do? Do you just go online and pick something? I know you've helped a lot of people through that process. What are some of the, I guess, first steps if someone is brand new to these markets to get started? Yeah, it well, the, un, the there's a great thing and a bad thing about the markets right now. The great thing is that anybody can participate. Anyone can open a brokerage account and participate in the market. That's also a terrible thing because people are doing it without the knowledge and without the education. And I think a lot of people are going to be you know, stuck in, in a situation that they haven't planned for if they are throwing money at the market and watching it go up, which it has been doing. It's been the markets have been fantastic you know, since they, they come back from March. So a lot of people that are participating have never been through a drawdown in the market before. And it's the the lack of knowledge that will come back to, you know, to be an issue in the future. So this is a great time to get education. And, uh, and especially for those of you that are in retirement, th- there are some things that are really important. One is to learn how to generate cash in retirement. Uh, generate a cash flow. There are strategies for that. So you can use whatever assets you have in your retirement account as a, a cash generator. And then continuing to grow your capital. Uh, you know, how long are you going to live? Nobody knows for sure, but wouldn't it be great instead of just drawing down that retirement account if you could continue to grow it? Well, that's there, what the smart money is doing. Yeah, right? and, and, and there's strategies for that. Yeah, and we know there's risk in trading, but you have to be able to manage that properly. Right. And then you want to sleep at night. That's where the safety of your principal, the preservation of, of your capital comes in. And that should be part of, of a plan. These are all parts of a plan. You know, I mentioned before that that hurting uh, impact that uh, people follow. It's just following somebody else. Typically, if you follow somebody, even if they're right, you get in too late to really miss out on on what could be uh, you know, a, a better profit potential for you. So how do you control that? How do you control the emotions? You have to follow something that's more methodical. It should be a step-by-step rules-based process, something that has rules that you follow ideally for every trade that you do or every investment, regardless of whether you are short-term trading or uh, position trading, long-term investing for wealth. That same basic strategy with a set of rules you follow. And by following those rules, the, the end result should be yeah, this is a great, this is a good quality trade. This is one that has a high probability of succeeding. There's high profit potential there. Uh, The risk has been as much as possible controlled. Or what if it told you this is a bad trade? Stay out of it. It keeps you out of your own way. That's what a a proper strategy should do, a proper plan should do. And we actually take it a step further for our students at the Online Trading Academy with a platform that we have built. It's an analysis, trading, educational platform. I think it's the only one in the world that combines all of these things that actually takes you down those steps and will tell you if it's a bad trade. It's going to do as much as possible to keep you out of trouble, keep you out of your own way. It'll help you with your decision process, and that right. brings more confidence. More con- And again, that's that's the goal is to do this with confidence. Yep. That's and, that common theme of the show here today. Right. Yeah. So, you know, you when you're starting out, you, you look at two buckets that you have for your financial world. One is your income bucket. That's where you're accumulating assets, where you're, you know, you're using what you have maybe from your job now. And then, and then it's a wealth bucket. It's something that you are building on for the future. And then you go through kind of that distribution phase. And there are assets and strategies you use for those different buckets. And then when you go into retirement, then you really have three buckets. One should be kind of a cash or cash equivalent bucket. One's a steady growth bucket, something that maybe is more fixed as it in returns, and then something that's variable where you can maybe use these leveraged assets to grow your accounts. Yep, and I know you and I, we both teach a lot of investing classes, and I was teaching one uh, this past Wednesday, and it's, I always like to help people, you know, people want to start, but they don't know what, you know, what do they need? Do I need uh, a degree or all this stuff? Well, you, you want to be coachable, right? It'd Correct. be coachable to learn potentially something new and when you're coachable, you help it gains more you gain more confidence. But you also have to have that discipline. Al, Al was mentioning these rules. There's steps that you have to follow in investment strategies. Just like steps when you get in a car, the first step you do is you close the door. The second you put your seatbelt on, then you turn the key and then press the brake, uh, and then put it in gear. There's steps in pretty much everything that we do. The same thing in the financial markets. But the main, I guess, I, I think the main or the most important one is you have to be decisive. 
when the opportunity is available, when the opportunity arises, you have to capitalize. You have to take that trade, just like in anything else we do in life. And and now, you know, now might be that first step to to, to be decisive and say, hey, I want to learn more. I want to learn more techniques and more strategies that these financial institutions or the smart money is doing. Al, hit them up with some words of wisdom. Well, you know, we're seeing some of the greatest investing opportunities that we've seen for a long time right now. So this is a great time to get started. You know, we're we're going through significant changes, probably faster than ever before. So it's really critical to learn what has the potential to work now, or you risk waiting and hoping that things get back to where they be, were before, to back to what you think is normal. Well, what's going to be coming down the road may not be what we had before. There's going to be a new normal with new opportunities. So it's possible that what worked before may not work now or in the future. So it probably is going to require different strategies, different tools and approaches that are addressed in an ongoing educational session. Retire young, my friends.